What's up? What's up? We are here again, as per usual, doing what we do. You feel me? Playing with them cards, you heard? So, let's get a reading. I already shuffled, split, in, tap the deck. So, let's go, you heard? Oh, man. Final decision, bro. I'm so tired of this. Ever since 4 in the morning. Not really. It's like 3.20. Nonetheless, 4 in the morning. I've been at this table. Not really. Yeah, about 4 o'clock. Because I woke up at 3.20, like I said. Okay. I gotta stop correcting myself. Commentation on fleek. Yeah, heard. Anywho. So, we've been going back and forth with this final decision of what's gonna happen with these two lovebirds that are not actually loving themselves right now. So, let's see what's good. You feel me? Looks like somebody had to sit back and contemplate, rest, think about things. So let's see what's good. Let's see what's good. What's good is, like I said, somebody had to rest and really figure out some things. As you can see, they're laying next to their heart. They had to see where their heart string, or it actually looks like they had to rest their heart. It looks like it's, it's tugged on a bunch of other twigs. It looks like it's a nest. So it looks like, yeah, this heart string is just all over the place and there's no real grounding to it. Oh, okay, looks like we got a bit of an earth angel over here on the table. Okay, I see some satisfaction, emotional satisfaction. Being emotionally fulfilled and satisfied within oneself. All right, this beautiful nine of cups energy is waiting for their wish fulfillment with the star. Beautiful. All right, now this energy is taking time to themselves to really figure out where their heart lies. Because as you can see, this little red cord is all over the place and... There's actually a barrier between her and her heart. So, like I was saying at the beginning, all morning, like these people were not loving on themselves or each other. It was just, you know, eh. So, let's see what else we got. I'm glad to see one of the energies is finally resting. All right, so it looks like we have the King of Wands. All right. He is a bit obsessive, he is an, a workaholic, right? He's seeing things very clearly. God's giving him messages, downloads, and clues, apparently. Messages, downloads, and clues, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like we have a page of cups. Somebody's being told to remain strong. Bring out the lamb within, not the lion. Okay, bring out the lamb in you. You feel me? But either, it looks like there was a new situation that this king of wands was pursuing or manifesting. All right? Nonetheless, we bring it to fruition. It was a type of situation where, you know, we would speak. If pigs could fly, you feel me? Uh, we became a little bit obsessive. Um, you know? Seems as if you're becoming obsessive because you're following a calling. Well, you may be excited. Because I know personally, I get excited if I know I'm working on my, like, my, like, life purpose work. Oh, I'm so excited. But what it looks like is you became obsessive because you see clearly what this dynamic is. At least you knew what it was. Right? Ace, okay. Somebody's waiting for commitment. Somebody's waiting to work together, to collaborate, to have a team. Somebody's possibly waiting for a return from a past soulmate, a queen of wands. Too much. We ain't gonna do all that. We ain't gonna do all that. It's too much. King of Pentacles is now hermiting, trying to figure out how to get to his Ace of Pentacles and give to a situation. Nope, 
that was released definitely was released Ooh, and betrayed with the ten of swords so it was a new situation or friendship that was put to an end dun 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 oh and it really broke somebody's heart the final decision but somebody's on a pursuit for passion joy all that other stuff okay. that final decision really hurt this person this king of wands over here man i'm tired of seeing these guys hurt man anywho let's see what else we got Yeah, so Hermit dropped his sword. Hermit turned in a whole other direction. Hermit was consumed, is consumed in their emotions. Drowning, honestly. But dropped their swords, moved in another direction. Almost looks as if they're focused on their pentacle. There's a lot of pentacles in this area. Using time to invest with the seven of pentacles. I don't know. Possibility. So it looks like Hermit just dropped his sword, and that's the end of the game, apparently. Wow, yeah, there's a choice. There was a choice to make, and apparently he was left out in the cold, right? That new beginning, left out in the cold. Or maybe the other energy chose another energy to take a leap of faith with, I don't know. But Hermie over here dropped his sword. Honestly, they focus on the bag. I don't know if they're even worried about the other energy. So, like, I kind of don't feel bad. Because I think they get the whole hermiting healing process. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is there anything else we need to know? Oh, page of swords. I don't know what that is. Delayed communication. Eight of cups. Somebody walking away or somebody walked away. Somebody would like redemption. And to possibly celebrate two of swords they don't see how that would be happening they're seeing the passion in this king of swords a lot different I don't know who's moving towards what, but somebody's moving things to calmer waters. Lovers is a choice. Choosing. Five of Pentacles, leaving something out in the cold. Ace of Cups. Fell right on the King of Swords. Choosing a path to transform or permanently end. Let's see what this Five of Pentacles is. The Queen of Wands. Hmm. So wait, the King of Wands chose to leave the Queen of Wands out in the cold. The new beginning that they would have. And that decision actually hurt him. The crazy thing is that's justice. Scales are being balanced. Interesting. All right, so then let's clarify. Oh, we can't see that. That's probably why I did it like that. All right, there we go. All right, let's clarify the Ace of Cups. Ace 
Ace of Cups. Tower shakeup with the close of a cycle. So was that an awakening moment when this 10 10 on the clock when the cycle was closed? You felt regret once the cycle was actually closed. You felt sad once you actually broke it off with this, made that final decision. That's what the, the lovers is, the lovers. They chose to close the cycle. So they took King of Wands chose to close the cycle with the Queen of Wands. And that left him in a tower having a shake up. This is all what's going on in their head. That's all they're thinking about. Two of Cups with the Queen of Cups. Okay, so my question is why is there the five of cups why regret and sorrow if that's what you wanted why all right it's illuminated with the sun baby let's go managing juggling going back and forth no questioning in your head about an emperor. Huh. Interesting. Who's the emperor? Three of Pentacles. Death. Five of Wands, Two of Wands. The energy that she didn't choose. Backtracking. Again. Alright. So you want to now backtrack. Because you don't know how... I have no idea. I've got no idea. Like, I legit have no idea. Now you're choosing to celebrate. You want to move forward. You want to transform and collaborate and work with this energy. You're in your head about it. Mm. Yep. Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords. And that's what's being illuminated. That was fun guys this is why you make sure you know what decision you're making when you're making it don't throw away an amazing energy because you're in your ego okay don't do it clearly king of wands is the only one hurt now and i like the way the queen of swords is now the king of wands as you watch the readings from patreon to here You'll notice that it was all feminine energy, and now that roles have switched, I guess somebody released something and is now cool and calm. And that's cool. I want everybody happy, healthy, and, and good, even if it's not with the person you're with. Nonetheless, we need to be happy, healthy, and good so that the kids don't have to see us wilding out, bro. I don't want to explain this crap to my kids, you feel me? And I hope you don't either, because, like, bro, we do some messy stuff. Messy, messy, messy. So, anyway, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, Tuesday, August 30th. February 8, 53 a.m. I've been up since 3.20. Been on the table since 4. You feel me? Readings are scattered as per usual. But as always, I love you. All right, guys. Have a good one. And I'll be back in a little bit. You already know.